What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you for tuning in on today's video. Yeah, we got another one. <clears throat> yeah, so this is number... Who knows? I've lost count. Um, can't even count them on one hand. But um, yeah, we got another 6 liter here. A little bit of an update. King Ranch is sold. It is gone. We had a offer that we couldn't refuse, and we sold it. So the King Ranch is gone. The project is over. Um, that truck was awesome. I really loved it. I had an idea in my head, and I was able to uh, implement it on that truck, and the truck looked killer. I know a lot of you guys really, really liked it. Um, I really want to say to you guys thank you to all of you that have made a purchase on the website, uh, whether it be a t-shirt, up pipes, coolant filters, a diff cover kit. We have sold at least one of each of those items. Um, so I, thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you. Um, like I said, the t-shirts are one of the best ways to support this channel so that we can continue to produce content. Every single order is free shipping, guys. Shirts are awesome. They, they really are. <clears throat> and so... When we have a project like this, those of you that have uh, purchased something on the website, it goes towards projects like these so that I can continue to produce videos for you guys and show you guys how to work on these things. So yeah, we're going to get into this video. I'm going to tell you guys, we picked up this truck. I'm going to tell the whole story about this thing. It did not run when we bought it. Um, and so we're going to go over all of that. And yeah, let's go over the truck. So the truck is a XL package. It is a 2005, so we do have a coil spring front suspension. Of course, it is the classic 6.0 liter Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. It's the only thing I will ever buy, probably. Um, we do have the air filter off at the moment. Um, we had to do some diag on it. But, so yeah, it's got these crappy headlights up front. Somebody did a horrible paint job up front here. Uh, they had fender flares on it, and look at that. They just drilled it, you know, self-tappers right into the old fender. Yeah, yeah. So, but cab corners are pretty solid. Inside the doors here, rockers, doors, everything is super clean, actually, on this truck. I'm, I'm pretty surprised, except for the bed. Yeah, so the bed is pretty well shot. Um, luckily, we can pick these beds up pretty cheap. Thousand, fifteen hundred, some around in there for a completely rust-free one. You know, the bed supports are, are pretty well shot. Um, one couple of benefits here. We do have quite a bit of life on the tires here. So the tires were recently, recently replaced the, uh, turbo inside of there. They just replaced the turbo, um, at some point within the last year. And let's see if we can get a good view of this. Let me grab the flashlight real quick. So those of you with a trained eye, if you look right there, that is a head stud. Um, this truck is studded already. Uh, the person that I bought it from actually did not, they had no clue that this truck was already studded. Um, that is a blessing and a curse all at the same time for me anyways. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> pretty, pretty cool little rig here. It's, it is an F-350, but it is, like I said, XL package. So we got crank windows, the big old bench seat here, four by four. It does have AC solid back glass, which I'm super happy about. I like these. These are so much cleaner than the, than the three pieces, but yeah. So in classic fashion, we bought this truck not running. Um, that is my specialty. We got it super cheap. It doesn't run. We went and diagnosed it, kind of figured out before we bought it, what we thought it might be. Um, I was pretty much convinced that a glow plug control module would get this truck to fire up. Um, but we did a glow plug. So it had, I don't know, seven out of eight glow plug circuit codes. Um, and that's not, that's kind of unusual for seven glow plugs to be bad. Um, so I jumped on to thinking that it was the glow plug control module. So the FICM was dropping voltage as well. So we were monitoring FICM voltage. It was 48. And then as soon as you turn the key on, it would drop to about 40 and then it would slowly work its way back up. Um, so right away I was thinking we need a FICM. We need a glow plug control module. So I, when I went and bought the truck, I actually tried to stick a glow plug control module on it real quick just to see if I could get it to fire. It still wouldn't fire with a glow plug control module. Um, come to find out, it had seven bad glow plugs. Wouldn't you know? So we have, we got to do harnesses on it, but we ended up sticking six, yeah, 
six glow plugs in it. Um, so six out of the eight glow plugs actually work now. Um, and the truck does fire up and it runs. Um, I want to show you guys this real quick. This is, you know, some things we're going to have to figure out. So it does have, you see there, it's got a little bit of an oil leak. I haven't really checked out the front end too much, but this front axle U-joint is just completely shot. So um, I know some of you guys wanted me to kind of go over how to rebuild the front end on these trucks, U-joints, ball joints, everything like that. So um, look forward to doing that video here pretty, pretty soon. So I wanted to show you guys, if we hook up our battery here, we got two things down here. We have a few of these bad glow plugs here, but basically... This is how the glow plug gets power, and then it grounds out through the block of the engine. So if you put power to this end, and then touch your ground power or ground wire to the base of this, um, this should start to glow. If it doesn't glow, you have a bad glow plug. And then over here, we have a couple of good glow plugs. Um, and so when we do the same thing, it actually lights up. So I'm going to try to show you guys that real quick. So we will grab one of our bad glow plugs here. We'll stick that on there. Grab our ground wire, we touch it, it doesn't even spark. It should spark, and it should be heating up pretty quick. So that is a bad glow plug, and then we grab one of our good glow plugs. <clears throat> Stick it on there. You saw it spark a little bit, and then look at that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So that is a good glow plug. So now I'd like to talk about what the plans are for this thing. I'm sorry, guys, this is going to be a lot of talking, but I want to go over this truck with you guys. So let's talk about what we're going to be doing to it. Um, the bed will eventually get replaced, of course, and obviously we're going to fix all the engine stuff that's going on with it, the oil leak, um, the back pressure issue. But um, <clears throat> headlights are going to be upgraded. We're going to get rid of the XL headlights. We're going to switch the grill out. And we're going to be switching out the bumper as well. <clears throat> um, Suspension-wise, I'd like to level this thing out, do it the right way. I'm talking new springs, new radius arms, um, new track bar, adjustable track bar. We're going to do it the right way for leveling. Um, we're going to do it on probably 35s, 20 by 10s, 20 by 12s, something like that. Um, exhaust, of course. Um, Engine-wise... We got something really cool for that. Uh, injectors, we're gonna be, we are gonna be upgrading the injectors. We might even, so we're gonna be doing, we are, we're gonna be doing DIY injectors. That's gonna be an awesome video. I'm super excited about that. Um, turbo wise, we're not gonna be keeping that turbo. We're gonna be doing something else with that. Um, <clears throat> for the rear of the truck, we're gonna be keeping it pretty simple in the back here. Um, like I said, somebody did a really awful paint job. Um, so the rear bumper is kind of rusted out. So we are going to be replacing the rear bumper. I'm going to go to 08 style. Same thing with the tail lights. We'll go to 08 style uh, tail lights and rear bumper, black in the rear bumper. Uh, get the windows tinted. Um, we're going to be doing a topper too. We're going to we're going to get a topper for this thing. Um, if you guys remember my old Dodge, yeah, yeah, I missed that thing. <clears throat> and so yeah, it's going to be. This is the new DD. This is going to be the new daily driver truck for myself going to work going hunting that's all i really do um yeah th th this this truck right here is going to be for me where the right now the tow pig has kind of been my daily driver um we're going to make that kind of strictly it's it's almost winter here in michigan i like to be able to hook up the plow park it in the barn and then good to go you know what i mean um and so this thing will be our new daily workhorse and the tow pig will be a dedicated tow truck um whether it be for the camper uh for the trailer um whatever it may be it'll be the workhorse for that so like i said awesome project here i'm super excited i got a whole slew of ideas for this thing you guys it's going to produce so much content i'm so excited about it um it's going to be a lot a lot of fun guys um so yeah, you guys are going to have to stay tuned for all these cool videos. If you guys haven't already, go check out the, the website, Left Lane Diesels. That'll be down in the description. Go ahead over there. Pick yourself up a shirt. Help support your boy. And stay tuned. Like, subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the new rig. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.